Yodels and welcome to TFI Cut Tips. Sweet, I'm going to show you how to turn on an FPS counter in Autodesk Inventor. And if you're thinking to yourself, what the hell is an FPS counter? Right, well, frames, FPS is frames per second. Frames per second is a measurement of how well your PC is performing with a 3D application. FPS is how many frames per second is being sent from your graphics card to your screen. Why is that useful? Well, it just it's a gauge. It's just a reference, like a it's a reference point to let you know how well your PC is coping with the data and the workload that you're giving it to do. So I'm spinning this model around, but is it struggling? Is it fine? I mean, visually it looks okay, but if I was to stick a better graphics card in, the a good way to tell that you're getting a benefit from that additional hardware is to look at how many frames per second you're getting, especially for something that's visually. Uh, it's all about visuals, how smooth something is, and that's exactly what we've got here. We're, we're panning around and we're orbiting around. How smooth is this? If I was to put a better graphics card in, can I monitor and benchmark how better that other graphics card is? And you do that via frames per second. So to turn on the FPS counter in Inventor, it's a bit of a fiddle. You've got to shut down Inventor, and then you've got to go to the registry editor. So a bit of a disclaimer. If you're not familiar with how to get to the registry editor, you probably shouldn't be doing this, but you've got to start, run, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T for regedit. And then you want to go to H key current user. You want to go to software. You want to go to Autodesk. You want to go to Inventor. Registry version 21.0 is Inventor 2017. Registry version 20.0 is Inventor 2016. So on and so on and so on. Expand that. System preferences. Right. In earlier versions of Inventor, there was a folder in here called Scene Manager, which for some reason they've taken out. So we've got to pre, we've, well, we've got to recreate it. So right-click on Preferences, type uh, got a new key, and you want to type in exactly as I am Scene Space Manager, and then you want to right-click on that Scene Manager folder. Well, it's not really a folder, but you know what I mean. Go to Key, type in Debug, and then right-click on Debug, New D Word 32-bit value, and then name this Post Space Statistics. And then you want to double click on post statistics and change the value to one and that's it change post statistics to one reopen inventor and your fps counter will be enabled okay it's not strictly an fps counter the value that this counter gives you is in hertz which is a refresh rate value but i've tested the value in hertz that this counter gives us and it is as close as damn it to the frames to the real frames per second value so Hertz roughly loosely translates across to frames per second. I've done it. I've done the tests and it, it's as close as it can be. So at the bottom, this is the counter, right? So you can ignore this stuff here. You can ignore this stuff here. You want to focus on this value in the middle. And as you're panning around, it's given you now a Hertz value, which like I said, is as close as damn it to the frames per second as it needs to be. So I'm getting around about 188 Hertz or 188 frames per second, spiking up to 200. Let's do a 3D orbit. There you go, it's still around about the same value, 180 frames per second. When I use the 3D mouse, you'll see that it drops down to around about 60 frames per second, 66. And that's because the 3D connection driver, just the way it interfaces with the Inventor API, it's locked to around about 60 frames per second. When you're using a 3D mouse, you can't get higher than that value there, which it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 60 frames per second is the sweet spot. Anything lower than 60 and you'll start to see visual stuttering with the 3D model. And that's the same applies for gaming. If you're playing a game and you get less than 60 frames per second, you start to experience a little bit of a distorted and a degraded gameplay. It's the same for Inventor. Less than 60 and you'll start to see stuttering. Less than 30 and you're in for a bad time. Less than 10 and you're having troubles. So that's it. That's the frames per second counter. So the, what, I mean, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what's the point? Why do I need to know this information? It, does it help me work any better? No, not at all. What it's good for is benchmarking your system against somebody else's or when you're about to upgrade your computer, it's a good way to visually check and verify that your new hardware is actually getting better performance. It doesn't help with opening models, saving models. Does it make that any quicker? That, that's that got nothing to do with frames per second. This is purely visual performance. So if I do a pan around, I'm getting around about 200 frames per second, 170 to 200 frames per second. So a good way to check to see that that's actually real and it's working is to then switch on the visual assets. So let's turn this to a realistic style. Let's turn on shadows. Let's turn on reflections. And then we'll put it into a, an IBL environment. Let's say the dry salt bed. And let's turn the camera to perspective. And let's do a pan now. And you'll see that the frame rate tanks to around about 60 frames per second. So the graphics card's doing more work. So it's spitting out less frames to the, to the screen. It's got more work to do, therefore less frames are being spat out to the screen. So we're getting about half, well, actually, it's about a third of the frame rate is what we're getting without the visual assets turned on. But 
as it goes, 60 frames per second is still perfectly comfortable. It is absolutely fine. You can still see it is smooth as it needs to be uh, at 60 frames per second. But that's because I'm working on a pretty good system. I've got an i7 4790K CPU overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. I've got a GeForce GTX 970 graphics card, which is now out of date, but it's still pretty good. 32 gig of RAM and uh, the hardware is pretty good but if i was to do this on a on a lower grade computer the frame rate would be less and that's just a good visual verification to let you know whether you've got a good system or a not so good system and then when you upgrade your hardware you can now see the impact of that hardware that you've put in so that's the frames per second counter it's hertz but it's as close as frames per second as it needs to be there you go frames per second counter in inventor if you like that subscribe if you haven't done already go after some I'm, i've said this in my last video i've just i'm still giving away a 3d mouse for crying out loud look look Look, 3D I'm giving away a 3D mouse. Get me to 10,000 subs and I will give away a 3D mouse. <laughs> it's been going on for like four weeks. Uh, right, anyway, never mind. Subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. See you later. Doodles.